there is a book called This Book is Gay. Now, let's go ahead and... <laughs> The Charlotte Mecklenburg schools in North Carolina are apparently promoting a gay sex guide to seventh graders. Here is a, a mother showing up to a school board meeting just reading. And I, I have instructed, by the way, our editors to bleep this very, very liberally because it's actually scandalous and obscene. And I don't want to expose my listeners to it. But this is the sort of thing that, that seventh that graders are being exposed to in their schools in Carolina. This book is gay by Juno Dawson was found in a seventh grade classroom at Collinswood Middle School. It was also on the ELA recommended reading list for seventh graders at J.M. Robinson. I'm going to read from chapter nine, the ins and outs of gay sex, starting at page 201, part one, boy on boy sex. Perhaps the most important skill you will master as a gay or bi man is a timeless classic, the hand Good news is you can practice it on yourself. The bad news is each guy has become very used to his own way of getting himself <laughs> Learning how to find a partner's personal style can take ages, but it can be very rewarding when you do. A good <laughs> is all about the wrist action. Rub the head of his <laughs> back and forth with your hand. You, <laughs> you see the guy back here <laughs> in the top left corner? Oh boy, is closing his ears. Like, boy, this must be hard to hear. And try different speeds and pressures until he responds positively. A bad <laughs> is grasping a <laughs> and shaking it like a ketchup bottle. It's no wonder that 92% of CMS graduating seniors aren't college or career ready when you're instructing them on how to give blow <laughs> and <laughs> instead of teaching them how to add and subtract. Superintendent, you stated this book was, quote, brought into the classroom by a teacher with no intent to allow students access. Any teacher that puts material like this on his or her belt shelf time is either is a bad teacher or a pedophile who grooms Thank children. You. Two minutes are up. Here, here, lady. Here. By the way, I, I cut out some of the most obscene parts, Ugh. okay? That wasn't, and I, I don't mean to laugh at it. I mean, she's she has a very good point. She says, you know, Maybe if these kids spent more time learning addition and subtraction and less time learning about gay sex, maybe their test scores wouldn't be so bad. But the, the one that really got me is the, the ketchup bottle line. And I think this is so Okay. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> okay, listen here. All right. Enough of that bull. Listen to the knowledge I'm about to spit to you right here. Okay. What I'm about to say, you can't deny. Okay. Books like that should not be in the classroom. Okay, let's go ahead and get it out of the way. It should not be accessible. It should not be in a library. It should, honestly, it shouldn't even be in a public. It should be like one of those books in the back where only the, the 18 plus older kids have access to. Okay, if it's that explicit, you your kids got to miss it. Okay, let's go ahead and get that on a t-shirt. If it's that explicit, your kids got to miss it, okay? It should not be in a classroom setting, even if it's a, teacher, a, a teacher's personal uh, uh, book, uh, you know, private readings. That should not be in your classroom. Honestly, it's a little weird. Honestly, it's a little creepy. I ain't going to even lie about it, bro. Like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what I'm saying? What does work, and, and 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 as we just demonstrated there, the the teacher or not the teachers, the the parents were in in that conference ex expressing their feelings on a book that was found in the teacher's room. That shows if if t if if parents are able to vocalize their concerns about what's happening in their kids' classrooms. If that setting happened, that means something is working. Okay, the school system is not perfect. I get it. I, I homeschool my kids. I done been through public schools. Public schools, at least in my area, was was not even, was it was all right. It wasn't even, you know, damn near borderline poor, okay? You know what I'm saying? It's distracting. It's really no good education there. And everything is just low quality. Okay. So. 
if they were in that setting, that at least worked. If parents have the opportunity to voice their opinions on something that's not supposed to be in there, it did its job. They were able to voice it. And I'm assuming that's going to get out of there. The teacher is going to get in trouble, if not fired, which, hey, that's that's the consequences you're going to have to suffer. OK. It's not perfect, but one thing. That we do need to do is make sure that parents are hands on in the classroom. And not just talking. You can't just be one of those parents just co complaining about some things and you don't want to actually help yourself or homeschool your kids like I do. This shows at least there's something, a mechanism for, for parents to make sure this doesn't happen because we don't want the government teaching our kids. I don't want that either. You know what I'm saying? That's why I homeschool my kids. So me and my wife, we can monitor what is being taught to our kids. You know what I'm saying? And we can even go beyond that, okay? Let, let's, let's, let's go beyond the books. I don't want my kids viewing anything like that, gay, straight, or anything in between. I don't even want my kids exposed to that at a young age. It's inappropriate. I don't care if it's a, a, a woman and a man getting it on. I don't want them seeing them kissing because to me, my beliefs, that's inappropriate for kids. So even having a book talking about that is inappropriate. Movies, my kids ain't gonna be watching that has that in there. So let's be straight across the board. It's not just gay interactions. It's not just gay books. It's everything sexual. I don't want my kids exposed to. That's simple. Now, if we were to come into agreement about that, that our kids should not be exposed to anything sexual. Hey, we on the same page. But what makes it sound like you're attacking gay people only is if you say, I don't want my kids exposed to gay stuff or transgender stuff or whatever the LGBTQ plus I X, Y, and Z, everything. You got to be fair you know, across the board. <laughs> you like my sound effect? Yeah. You got to be fair. And that's how you make sure you are being fair and you're being honest with yourself. And nobody can say that you're wrong or you're crazy because you are not leaving anybody out. You are being uh, 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 fair to everybody out there. I don't want my kids watching gay stuff. I don't want my kids watching straight stuff. Anything that is sexual, they need to, when they're old enough to, to understand and and break down what's going on but right now they're kids they're watching pokemon and 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 you know ladybug stuff like that's the level they're on and that's where i want to keep my kids until they get older